Hey guys, Joe from Extreme Terrain, and today we're going to be working with the Rough Country Bull Bar in black, fitting all 05 to 15 Tacomas. Now something like this is going to be perfect for the Tacoma owner who's looking for some budget-friendly off-road protection and styling. This bull bar is made out of 3-inch diameter steel tubing and features a glossy black powder coating, which is not just there for looks, but serves as a layer of protection from the elements as well. Right up front, we have that nice Rough Country logo on that vented skid plate, and to each side of the logo, we have some pre-drilled holes to mount up a front license plate. That's a nice touch from Rough Country. All the hardware needed to mount a front plate there is included in the kit as well. Now, speaking of pre-drilled holes, this bull bar takes some extra lighting as well. We have two holes right up front here on the cross member section of the bull bar. Those are ready to go for up to a 20 inch light bar or some cube lights as well. Pricing for this bull bar is going to come in at around 170 bucks. And at that price point, it is one of the most cost effective bull bars we have on our website, being only beat by one other, the Barricade 3 inch bull bar, which does not include a warranty. Included in the price with this bull bar is going to be a five year limited manufacturer's warranty from Rough Country. Install for this bull bar is going to be extremely easy. There's no modification required, and you can get this installed with nothing but hand tools, making it an easy one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. Should only take you a couple of hours to get this hooked up to your truck. So without any further ado, let me show you what tools you'll need, and let me show you how it's done. Now, like I said earlier, you can get this done with nothing but hand tools. We used an impact just to speed things up a little bit. Obviously, the ratchet, U-joint, 14 millimeter socket, 16 millimeter socket, 16 millimeter wrench, and a ratcheting 14 millimeter wrench. So for the first step of our install here, we have to remove two 14 millimeter nuts behind our lower front grill right about here. Once those are out of the way, we'll put our bracket in place and then secure those back down. With those nuts out of the way, we can install our driver's side bracket. This one is marked on the back with a D, so you know you have the right one. Now the studs we uninstalled those nuts from are going to go through right here and right here as well. Now with this bracket in place, it is going to be a little bit tough to get the ratcheting wrench in there. So what I'm gonna do for the top nut is I'm gonna approach that with a ratchet and a socket and come in from the top, sort of like that. And then I'll probably switch back to the ratcheting wrench for the lower nut. Now the last thing we need to get this bracket fully secured is this long 60 millimeter bolt. This is going to go through our cross member here and meet up with the bracket on the other side. As you can see, I have a small washer and one of the larger spacer washers on this. Once you have that in place, you can feed it right through the cross member. Now on the other side of the bracket, what we're going to do is back that bolt out just a little bit and slide that large spacer washer in between, then back through the bracket here. That'll give it a nice flush mounting surface to secure against. And then we're gonna tighten that down with another washer, lock washer, and 16 millimeter nut. All right, so now we're gonna grab the 14 millimeter ratcheting wrench and do the same thing for the other side. Now I'm not getting much travel out of the ratcheting wrench on this side attacking from the bottom, so I'm just gonna do the same thing I did to tighten down the other side and use the ratchet and socket and attack from the top. That'll give me a much longer throw.
And just like the other side, we're going to slide that big 16 millimeter bolt through and then get our spacer in between the cross member and bracket. With that spacer in place, you can secure with the flat washer, lock washer, and 16 millimeter nut. So now all of our brackets are fully secured on the truck. We're ready to mount up our bull bar. These tabs on each end are gonna go to our brackets and secure with the 16 millimeter hardware included in the kit. Now we're gonna get all the hardware in place and then we're going to adjust our bull bar and make sure it's nice and level and then come back and tighten all of this down. We're gonna get all the hardware in place first, then we're going to adjust our bull bar to the right position and then snug all the hardware down with a 16 millimeter socket and a 16 millimeter wrench. And that is going to do it for my review and install of the Rough Country Bull Bar in black, fitting all 05 to 15 Tacomas. Thank you for watching. Make sure you remember to subscribe for more videos like this and all things Tacoma.